We've got video right now that the U.S. government says shows U.S. and Russian warships nearly colliding today in the Philippine Sea. The ships were less than 100 feet apart. And tonight, both sides are pointing fingers. Here's David Martin. Here's how close it came this morning in the Philippine Sea. The Russian destroyer started off on the right rear of the American ship and steadily closed in. The Russians claim the USS Chancellorsville suddenly cut in front of them, but that is not what the pictures show. The destroyer keeps coming closer while the Chancellorsville maintains a steady course and speed. A helicopter was preparing to land on its rear flight deck, and under the rules of the road at sea, the Chancellorsville had the right of way. All other ships were required to stand clear. The Russian destroyer came within 50 to 100 feet, way too close for warships weighing thousands of tons each. Is, uh, Acting Defense Secretary Patrick yeah, Shanahan. Beyond disappointing. You know, the unsafe, unprofessional acts uh, certainly put our, our men and women at, at risk. The captain of the Chancellorsville, on the right in this photo, had to throw his engines into reverse to avoid a collision. The close encounter was no mistake. The crew of the Russian ship can clearly be seen on the wing of the bridge watching as the gap narrowed. Although sailors sunbathing on the stern might have been surprised to look up and see an American warship so close. Earlier this week, a Russian fighter buzzed a Navy patrol plane in the Mediterranean. Only the Russians know if these are isolated incidents or the start of a new pattern. But either way, it's dangerous. David? David, thank you.